wasn't expecting this, but apparently 60% of my followers know nothing about the biggest beekeeping event in the world, IP Mondia. And in today's video, I want to change that and show you where I truly celebrate beekeeping. Epimondia is the International Federation of Beekeepers Associations. It is a non-governmental organization that brings together beekeepers, manufacturers of beekeeping equipment, and a wide variety of scientists involved in apiculture. It is a kind of your state beekeeping association meeting, but on steroids, with a lot more people from all over the world, and it is a lot of fun. Epimondia is a big show, and this year, in 2022, Epimondia was held in Istanbul, Turkey. It was supposed to be in Russia, but Mr. Putin screwed up everything, as you know, and Epimondia had to be moved pretty fast to another location. I stayed in Hilton Bosphorus, within walking distance from the conference center. To me, it's the perfect location, where you can have easy access to the main attractions in the city and the convention center where the Congress takes place. Right there in the Hilton breakfast, you can already feel the Turkish beekeeping culture influencing my morning meal. I have to say that I am already missing eating every day a delicious breakfast having the Bosphorus Strait in the background. Turkey is a small country with a strong beekeeping culture and tradition, with over 7 million honeybee hives, more than triple than the United States. With that amount of hives per square meter, you can have an idea about how important beekeeping is for Turkish people. Epimondia is my favorite honeybee gathering because, first and most important, you can reconnect with old friends. I spent some quality time in Istanbul with Dr. Jeff Peris, the president of Epimondia, and my dear friend Dr. Ashley Ozkirin. I'm totally mispronouncing her name right now, but she is probably used to that at this point. Ashley is a honeybee researcher at Hasatip University and the queen bee of Turkish beekeepers. We spent some time together visiting some cultural sites in Istanbul and also discussing some of her research. Any new tips for varroa mite control? Do you have anything to share? To they are. <laughs> <laughs> are we always yes, looking Yes, but uh, we have many, but yeah, okay. we, we are more focused on the herbal one. Okay, tell, so, me, one, tell me one solution. One, we one have no one solution. Uh, and all over the world, we have no solution <laughs> okay. against Varroa. Okay. Another reason Apimondia is my favorite beekeeping gathering is the opportunity to experience different cultures and this is priceless. It is my third time in Istanbul and the city speaks for itself. It is a lot of fun walking around to see the real world around us, not this distorted image created by news outlets completely different from the true reality out there. I really encourage you to do the same and I can guarantee you your perception will change. The Expo of Apimondia is the place to see all the new beekeeping equipment and products very creative people are bringing to the world. It is a place where I spend a lot of time walking around, talking to people, tasting great honey and watching all the fun around me. It is huge and people are super creative. This year I was surprised by the number of propolis companies bringing different products to the market. I think propolis is becoming a trend and as you know, I have nothing against that. Propolis is one of the most remarkable products from honeybees and it really bothers me to see how few people here in the United States take advantage of the beneficial use of propolis. In the expo you can also see very creative products from people truly passionate about honeybees. You are looking in the modern pet. <laughs> you like you have dogs, cats, fishes. Now it's 21st century so you can keep the bees inside your home. Totally safe. So the main point is this is not just observation hive, this is production of observation hive, totally first in the world. For example, this model here, you can produce a fresh point. The second attachment is 
for uh, collecting a bee. So you can do it like bee venom therapy. But you can see the net here and syringe. And you can apply whenever you want, you know, on your body, on the neck. The another part is uh, honey box. You can, uh, with a spoon, uh, take uh, one, one bee spoon with, uh, with honey. The another part is up inhalation set. And you have mask with hose, so you can inhale it with just one click. You don't need to go to happy therapy to pay for some hours for hotel. Apimonia also have a lot of interesting talks from researchers around the world. I won't bore you showing all the presentations, but I promise you a selection of many videos inside the Hive.tv style about these interesting research topics. Two delegations were competing this year to hold Apimonja in 2025, Scandinavia and Hungary. The Scandinavia delegation is a combined effort of Danish, Swedish and Norwegian beekeepers associations to hold Apimonja in the beautiful city of Copenhagen. Why Apimonja should go to Copenhagen? So basically the Apimonja Scandinavia bit is the, the three Scandinavian beekeeping associations that have gone together. In Scandinavia we are about 27,000 beekeepers organized in the three countries, come together to invite the whole world to Scandinavia. The Hungarian delegation, a small country in Europe with a strong beekeeping tradition with more than 20,000 beekeepers, was also promoting themselves to hold up in My name is Peter Brass, chairman of the Hungarian Beekeeper Association. I would like to call up your attention for Hungary. Hungary is a really small country in Europe, situated in the Middle East of Europe, but we are really strong in beekeeping. We are famous of Acacia honey. The two-thirds of the Acacia forest is situated in Hungary of Europe. So I really would like to invite every beekeeper from all over the world to Hungary. It's a really peaceful country. We are member of EU, so a safe country. Really honest people. And as you can see, I have some extra weight, so the food is really good. I was divided. Both delegations did a fantastic job, but deep in my heart, I kind of knew who would win. I'd like to announce we had 38 votes for Hungary, 58 votes for Scandinavia. In the end, as my gut feeling was telling me, the Vikings won. My wife has Viking blood and I know how hard it is to go against a Viking, trust me. I was not only very happy for the Scandinavian delegation, but also excited about the opportunity to visit Copenhagen for the first time. I don't know much about Scandinavian beekeeping culture and this will be the perfect opportunity to learn more. After spending some time with the delegation, I can guarantee you it will be an amazing experience. These guys are a lot of fun. Did you save the date already? Around September of 2025? Apimonja in Copenhagen, capital of Denmark? If it is too far away for you to think about it, how about next year Apimonja? Apimonja will be held in the capital of Chile, Santiago, a phenomenal city with great infrastructure, perfect to hold an event like Apimonja. Chile has a very interesting beekeeping landscape, from the Atacama Desert in the north going through the Vasparaiso and the central valleys defined by its Mediterranean climate and moving deep south, the astonishing Patagonia. The honey produced in Chile is well known for its quality and I cannot wait to taste some organic honey on location. Mark on your calendar, September 4 to September 7, 2023. The dates might change a little. And now you have a taste of what Apimonja experience is. Many more videos are coming about Apimonja in the near future, so if you like what you see, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe to the channel. I would like to thank my Patreon for the financial support and you for watching Inside the Hive.tv, the show about bees. See you guys next week.